What's up guys? Welcome back to part 2 for this tutorial on how to build this mansion. Here in this one, we should have time to bring up the exterior walls for the second floor of the house. We'll also be sure to do the roof for the second floor. And we should also have time to do the roof for the lower sides of the house. I gathered up all the blocks we're going to be using in this video. So you can see here, these are all the blocks you'll need to grab. We'll start here at the front side. Make sure you have your pillar quartz block, and we'll head on over here to this corner, and we'll bring it up by 9. We'll head on over to this corner and also bring it up by 9. Now let's head to the back, to where this corner is right here. We'll bring this up by 9. So this one is lined up at the front side, and then we'll head on over to this corner, which is also lined up with the front, and bring this up by 9. We'll head back to the front, and we'll start filling in all these walls. We're going to have the same windows that we did on the first floor, here for the second floor as well. So, be sure to start with the white concrete. We'll go right on top of the chiseled quartz, and just place two layers. Right up against this pillar, we'll fill in two spaces. And remember, we still want to leave two layers of smooth quartz blocks here at the top. Now, let's head on over here towards this corner. We'll fill in three spaces, bring it all the way up, and we'll add the two layers of smooth quartz again. And then right down the middle, we'll do the same thing. Let's fill in the top with the quartz. Below that will be a layer of white concrete. And now we have the two windows here on the second floor marked out. So what we just did here, we'll then do over on this side. So now it's just matched up. Let's head to the back, and we're going to do it two more times back here. Just like how we did it for the first floor. So if this side is done, just like the front, got it one more time over here. Now for the sides, we'll continue with the white concrete. We're just going to go in between the pillars. So we'll start down here at the bottom, just right on top of where these walls left off. And we're just going to completely fill in all the way from the back to the front with white concrete. And then we still want the two layers of the smooth quartz at the top. We'll also be sure to do the same on that other side, just in between those two pillars. So we have just solid walls on the sides. And then the four windows here at the front, and four windows at the back. Now, let's focus on these middle sections. Let's continue with the smooth quartz blocks. We'll be right on top of the chiseled quartz. We'll just fill in the two spaces at the sides first. We're just going to bring this up until it's one block higher than these walls that we just placed. So here at the top, you can fill in the three spaces. So make sure it's lined up here at this wall. We'll then head on to this side and do the same thing. Now up against those on the inner sides, we'll have another strip of quartz. And then, right on top of the chiseled quartz here down the middle, we'll add another two layers. Here down the middle, we'll have this going all the way up. Here at the top, 
We'll add three layers of smooth quartz. And now with the smooth quartz stairs, we'll place these upside down here at the top in these shapes. So we have two windows there that are just one block taller than the rest of the windows. Now we'll head to the back and we're going to do the same thing back here. So with the smooth quartz blocks, we'll fill in the sides until it's one block higher than the rest of the walls. Up against that, We'll have another strip going all the way to the top. At the bottom, we'll add two more layers down here. And then we'll have a strip going down the middle all the way to the top. And now three layers here in between all of that. And finally, the smooth quartz stairs upside down in between the shapes for the windows. Let's start adding all the detail for the windows now. So you can see how we have these windows on the first floor. We're going to be doing the same thing on the second floor. It'll be for the front as well. So if you remember how we did it, we'll just start with the white concrete. And we'll have a layer along the outer edge. And then the space down the middle. We'll fill this layer in with black stained glass panes. We'll go on the outside, have the upside down dark oak stairs at the top, and the dark oak trap doors along the side. We'll have to grab the lever, I'll just swap out the smooth quartz slabs for now, and we'll have two of these below the windows. And then we're going to have to kind of just go in here and crouch at a trap door uh, right there and another one there. And that is one window. We'll do this one. And there we go. So now we have to do that three more times. So right here and then two at the front. We now have all the windows done for the sides here on the second floor. Now we have to do the ones here in the middle. We'll switch to the smooth quartz blocks. And we'll place a layer just along the outer edge. So make sure to go up above the stairs as well. And then we'll fill this in with the quartz down the middle. And then the black stained glass panes. And that's all there is to these ones here in the middle. We don't have any of the wooden trim work. We'll do the same here at the back. We have all those windows now done here on the second floor at the middle of the house. Let's now head on back up to the front. And we're going to have a railing here on the second floor down the middle. Just right here at the bottom layer of the windows. So we have the dark oak trap doors. And we're going to be placing them right here at the top edge of these blocks right below the windows. And we want to make sure we're just one block further than the edge. So we'll place a layer of the trap doors going across like that. On top of this, we'll be sure to crouch and place some chains so that they're facing straight up and down. And now after that, we'll switch back to the dark oak trap doors and place these on top of the chains. So now that we have the walls all marked out for the second floor, let's now start adding the roof here on this upper layer. So we're going to be using the smooth quartz stairs, the smooth quartz blocks, the smooth quartz slabs for the overhang, and then we're going to be using some dark oak wood slabs for the roof itself. Let's start at the front. We're just going to mark out where the overhang is, 
So I'll head on over here more towards this left side here on this lower part. We'll start with the smooth quartz stair. We're going to place one upside down and we're going to be skipping over a space and just continuing on. Just keep skipping over a space and we're going to leave this one here. So now you can see all the rest of the spaces starting at this pillar is going to be a full block of smooth quartz. So we just have a pattern like that. Now switch back to the smooth quartz slab. We'll place one right next to that full block. And then we'll work our way back. We'll start here with a full block. And then just skip over every other space with the full block. And then all those empty spaces will be filled in with an upside down smooth quartz stair. So you always want to make sure the final block that's lined up where the corner is, is a full block of smooth quartz. So you can see how it's like that here as well. And then the final corner here on the outer edge will be a slab. And then once again just back to the full block. And then it'll be a stair. Let me just continue with the full blocks every other space. And then we have the stair right here. Like that. So we'll head on back up to the front and we'll do the same thing on this other side. Now on top of all of that, we'll switch back to the smooth quartz slab and place a layer just right on top of it. Now let's look at the middle space and we'll just start doing this next. Switch back to the full blocks of the smooth quartz. We'll start on the corner and place it on every other space. Once again, the extra empty spaces will be an upside down smooth quartz stair. Now switch back to the smooth quartz slab and we'll place this next to the full block for the corner. And then we'll have another full block right here. And then we'll be sure to delete this slab here and just have another full block. We'll do the same on this side so we have a full block here. I guess you could just add another slab just right on top of that so it forms a full block. But either way, it'll do the same thing. And now on top of all of this, we'll have another layer of smooth quartz slabs. Let's go to the back and do it again. We'll start with the full blocks, start in the corner, and just place it on every other space. Upside down smooth quartz stair for the remaining spaces. Slab in each corner. A full block behind that, and a slab here. So a full block, and a slab, and then a layer of slabs on top of this. So now we have the overhang all marked out here. We could then start using the dark oak slabs to fill in the roof itself. We'll start here at the front. I'll just head on over to the left side. We're going to be just one, like half a space higher than where this overhang is. So we'll be right here on this block on this layer. And we'll just add some dark oak slabs going along the outer edge, just right up against the edge of the smooth quartz slabs. So we'll just follow right along that. We'll bring this over and we could just stop it right here. This one was kind of just a temporary block so that we could get it started, so we could just delete that. Now, let's head on over to the other side. We'll start in the same spot, so it'll be right here. We'll place one, we could then just delete this temporary block, and then just follow right along the edge of the smooth quartz slabs. And we'll bring this over until just right there. So we have that first layer. Now we'll go up in the next layer. So it'll start right here on the same layer as this smooth quartz slab. So we'll place a block here and another one behind it. And now we're just going to follow along the edge of the dark oak slabs.
So we'll bring this over and back into those slabs. We'll then do the same on this side. Now, we'll go up on the next layer. So this time it's going to be half a space higher than these slabs here for this upper level. So we'll just place a couple right there, stack it up. And then we'll continue on. And all we're just going to do is wrap around the edge of all the previous levels. So we have the first three layers like that. Looks good. We'll continue on. So let's do two more layers and we're just going to follow along the edge of all those dark oak slabs. So now we have a total of five layers here on uh, this lower part and a total of three layers here in the middle where it's a little bit higher. So now here for the middle space, we just want to add one more layer, but we're just going to completely fill all of this in until it meets up with the edge right here. So it's just going to be three spaces wide. We'll head to the back and do the same thing. And now you can see the rest of the space we have to fill in will just be this rectangular shape. And we want to bring it up until the top layer will be 7 blocks wide. Let's do 3 more layers for now and we'll see where it ends up. So this was the third extra layer. So now we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 going up on the lower parts. So now, yeah, it looks like this will be the top layer. So as I mentioned, I want it to be 7 spaces wide. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So now this is just going to be completely filled in on the same layer. We're not going to be bringing it up anymore. Now we have the roof all done here for the second floor of the house in the middle. I'm now back at the front side of the house. We're going to start marking out the roof for the lower sides now. Let's switch back to the smooth quartz stairs and we'll start marking out the overhang. We'll just be right above the garages first. We'll head on all the way over here at the top layer of these walls. We'll start with a stair and just place this on every other space and then Right here in this corner, we'll start with the full block, fill in the remaining spaces. We'll then have a slab right here, and then we'll start a full block here and place that on every other space. And then the stairs. We'll have a slab here in this corner, and then start with a full block here. We'll have a slab lined up where this full block is, and then start a full block here. Another slab, back to the full block. Once again, another slab and another full block. And then we'll continue on, we'll have another full block lined up here, one here, and the final one here is going to be right up against this wall. So we have the overhang marked out here for the space where the garage is. Right here actually isn't going to be one story, this is going to be 
It's technically two stories, but it's going to be a little bit lower than the main part of the house. So it's just going to be a little bit of a lower level. It's going to add different levels to the house. I think it's a nice feature instead of having everything the same height. And then right here, this little space will be one story. So we could go ahead and mark out the overhang here. So we'll just look at this corner and have a full block on each side with a slab. And then we'll have a stair and a full block. And then over here, a full block, another one, and then the stairs. Now on top of this, we'll have a layer of the slabs. We'll be sure to do that for all of this here as well. Now let's head on here back to this part that's going to be pretty much two stories. You can see how we have these smooth quartz here. We actually don't need that. So we're just going to replace this with white concrete. We'll do the same for this wall here as well. But that was just a little adjustment we have to make. So now we have that good. And then over here, we'll be sure to also replace all of this with white concrete. And over here, this is just going to be covered up with the porch that we're going to have. So we really don't have to worry about that. Same with uh, pretty much all of this. This right here though, this wall, will be white concrete as well. So there we go, that's what it's looking like. Once again, this little section here will be covered up with the porch that we're going to have. And now all of this is going to be one story as well, so we don't have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and actually start marking out the roof over here now. We'll start with the smooth quartz stair. Just right here at the front, right up against the full blocks. We'll have a stair, a full block, the slab, and then just full blocks every other space, and then the stairs. On top of this, we'll have a layer of slabs. We'll wrap around to the other side and do the same thing. And then a layer of slabs on top of this. Now, let's do the part that's just a little bit higher. We'll start with the full block right here on the edge. Stairs in between this. Slab on each corner. We'll have another slab just right on top of this space. And then a layer of slabs on top of this. Now we have the overhang marked out on this side. We did it on that side. Before we start doing the roof, how about we continue bringing up the exterior walls for that back corner there and for this space right here. We'll start on this side right behind where the garage is. We'll switch to the pillar quartz block. So just right on top of the corner that we already have, we're going to bring it up by another six. Now, let's switch to the white concrete and we'll look at this wall over here first. We're going to go right on top of our previous wall. And we're going to add three layers of white concrete. But we do want to be sure that this wall is one block further than the edge of this previous wall. And this final block will be a pillar quartz block. So we'll go ahead and just place that. 
we'll bring it up to the same height as that other pillar. So it'll be another one, two, three, and four. And five. Is that the same height? Yeah. So I placed one, two, three, four, and five more. And then this block, we'll go ahead and just straighten out. It will be covered up, but we'll just keep it anyway. And now you can see this pillar is lined up with this block. So we have one space of white concrete until we meet up at the edge of this pillar. So this is just going to be a solid wall of white concrete here. But now let's continue adding the additional two layers. So we already added the one more. So we're going to have two more. So it'll be three more. Like that. Let's look at the backside. We'll do the same thing. We'll just start here. Bring this straight across into that wall. We'll just add an additional three layers. So you can see how we have three layers of the pillar quartz. Now let's go to the front. And this is just going to be completely filled in. And we'll have the two layers of smooth quartz at the top. So let's do that. Two layers of smooth quartz. We'll bring it all the way into the wall. And as I mentioned, we are now just one space of white concrete away from this corner. And then let's go all the way down here at the bottom of the pillar. And fill the rest of this in with white concrete. So this is what the front wall is looking like. We'll go to the sides. The reason we left these lower is because we're going to have some little windows. So first, we will still have the two layers of smooth quartz at the top. So let's go ahead and fill that in. And now here at the back, we'll switch to the white concrete. We'll place two right up against the pillar. We'll look at this wall. We'll place two. We'll skip over this space and fill in three. And we'll also be sure to leave that space. So we have two small windows right here on this wall. Above them, I decided to add an upside down smooth quartz stair lined up at the bottom layer of the quartz. Now we'll go to the side. We're going to do the same thing over here. We're just going to have an additional window. So we have the two blocks of white concrete on the sides. We'll skip over this space, place one, skip over this space, place one. And then we're going to be left with one space in the middle, so we have to place one more on each side. So we have a total of three. Now we'll have the upside down smooth quartz stair above that. And there we go. We have these walls all brought up here. So as you can see, it's not one story and it's not quite as tall as the center of the house. Now, let's start marking out the overhang. So I'll just start here at the back. We'll have a stair starting off here. Every other space. And then, it'll be a full block. We have the slab in the corner. Start off at the full block. Slab again, and starting with the full block again. And now on top of that, we'll have a layer of smooth quartz slabs. So, this side is all marked out. As you can see, we now just have to fill in the actual roof itself with all the dark oak slabs. But first, let's head on over to the other side. We have to bring up this part right here. So, be sure to start with the pillar quartz block. And we're going to be doing pretty much the same exact thing we just did on the other side. So, we'll start in the corner and bring it up by 6. Now with the white concrete, we'll go down here at the bottom, we'll look at this wall first. And we're going to add three layers. For now, what I'll do is just stop it here on the edge. We'll just go ahead and add our three layers. So now after the edge, right here on this bottom layer, 
We want to be sure to add two more. So we'll fill this in. And then we're going to have one more, which will be the corner. So that'll be the pillar quartz block. And this once again will be six. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. We'll straighten out this bottom one. So we have this wall marked out for now. We'll look at the front and just lined up where this pillar is. You can switch to the white concrete, bring this all the way into the wall. We'll bring it all the way up until we have two layers remaining, which will be... Oh, hold up. I went up too high. So we have the two layers remaining, which will be the smooth quartz blocks. So this front wall won't have any windows. We'll look here at the side. At the top again, we'll just continue with the smooth quartz blocks with the two. Now you can switch back to the white concrete. We'll have two layers up against the pillar on each side. We'll skip over one space on each side. And then we'll place another one right next to that. So we're left off with the three windows. We'll have the upside down smooth quartz stair above them. And now let's look at the back wall. Back to the white concrete, we'll have three layers on top of where the previous wall left off at. We'll have the two layers of smooth quartz blocks here at the top. Switch back to the white concrete, two spaces on each side. And then just one space down the middle, so we're going to have two windows like that. We'll have the upside down smooth quartz stair again. And now the walls are marked out here for this space. We can then mark out the overhang. So, we'll start at the front. Start off with an upside down stair up against the wall. And just the same pattern we did everywhere else. And for these windows, I just had the black stained glass at the same edge as the exterior wall. So I didn't push it in like we did for all the other windows. So we'll fill all these in on each side. Now we have that done. And as I mentioned here at the back, where these smooth quartz blocks are, this will be covered up with the porch. But I am just going to go ahead and fill it in with the white concrete, just in case if you decide that you don't want the porch, you'll at least have all of this solid white concrete so you won't forget about it. So, I'm going to go ahead and just replace it all with the white concrete, but I do recommend the porch here at the back, because it really does tie the house together for the back side. Without it, it does kind of look a little bit bland. So now it's just all cleaned up, it looks a little bit better. We will go ahead and fill in the roof for all of the sides of the house. How about we just start right here on this space, why not? So we have the dark oak slab. We're going to be half a space higher, just right along the edge of the smooth quartz slabs for the overhang. So we'll just place this, wrap it around, over to this side. We'll go up in the next layer. Just follow right along the edge of the dark oak slabs. And then we'll have one more layer. And this is just all going to be filled in at the same layer. So it's right underneath the overhang for that upper level. So it's going to stop right there. We'll head on over to the other side. We have the lower space right here. So we'll just follow along the quartz again. And then we'll go up on the next layer and just fill in these two spaces. So that space is done. And I just noticed this block of smooth quartz we're going to get rid of. That'll just be white concrete. Yeah, that's a much cleaner look now.
I guess I almost forgot to remove that. Now let's go up on this section. We're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. I believe it was just three layers. And that third layer is just completely filled in. So this is now filled in just like the other side. Now let's fill in the roof above the garage. And then above this space over here. Let's head on over to this side and we'll fill this in first. So we'll just start half a space higher than the smooth quartz slabs. We'll just bring this over right into there. We'll go on the other side and do the same thing. So we'll just start right here. We can then just delete that temporary block. That was a little bit laggy right there. But yeah, then we'll go ahead and bring this along towards the back. And fill this in right into that wall. We'll go up on the next layer, just follow right along the edge of the dark oak slabs. And we'll bring this right into the quartz here. We'll do the same on this side, just bring this straight back. Until we are lined up with the corner here. So we're just lined up with it. Now the next layer, we're going to go into this wall. And just wrap right around the previous layer of the dark oak slabs there. And now you can see we are just following right along the edge of this upper level. Continue this along. And this is then going to curve into the wall here. Next layer, this will just go straight across to the front. Wrap it around. Right into there. Let's do another layer. Bring it into there. And then the final layer will just be completely filled in. So it's three blocks wide here. And then it'll also be three blocks wide there at the front. So now this side is all done. We'll head on over to this side above the garage. This is the last part we have to do. So you can see how this shape is a little bit unique, not quite like the others where it's more of just a perfect rectangle. This has a lot of zigzags, but it's still the same concept. So that's the first layer. We'll go up on the second layer, just right along the edge of the previous layer. And now we'll go up again. So right here, it'll just kind of curve right into the house and wrap around like that. This will bring over until it's lined up with the pillar. And then we'll start here and wrap around that previous layer. So that'll just go right into the wall. This is the shape we have so far. So we have just this single space remaining right here. So what I'm going to do is just fill that in. And then we'll go up on the next layer and just bring it straight across. Next layer again. We are almost done. So we could actually just make this the final layer. Let's see how it would end up looking. I know at the other build, I brought it up one more right here and filled this in with a extra layer. Let me see how it'll look if we just fill it in at this same layer here. So if you guys like how this looks, then you could just leave it as it is. This is pretty much how it's looking. So I just checked the other side and I think I actually do like the original version more. So what we're going to do is just add an extra layer right on top of this. So here at the back, it's just going to be a single strip. 
and we want to push this back until it's one block further than the edge of the previous layer. So we'll bring this across, you can see how we just have a single space around the edge still. We'll bring this towards the front. And this will just be brought straight across. So this is all still just filled in. And then this will be brought over. Still just a single space. Bring this across to the back. We have a little corner space here. So it's all just one edge again, and then we'll fill in the remaining space right here down the middle. So now this is what the roof is looking like. I think this looks a little bit better. I'm just going to leave it at that here for part two. I was thinking about doing the porch at the back side of the house, but I don't want this video to be too long. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that here for part two. In part three, we'll be sure to finish the rest of the exterior of the house. We just have the porch at the back side. Also in part 3, we're going to be doing all of the landscaping.